r slash ask reddit what do you hate most about the world today how people think their opinions are like facts and if people don't feel the same way they're the enemy social media has made people's opinion so much more important than they should be but this is just my opinion lol Anti-intellectualism has been a constant thread winding its way through our political and cultural life. Nurtured by the false notion that democracy means that my ignorance is just as good as your knowledge. Isaac Asimov. I have a foreboding of an America in my children's or grandchildren's time, when the United States is a service and information economy, when nearly all the manufacturing industries have slipped away to other countries, when awesome technological powers are in the hands of a very few, and no one representing the public interest can even grasp the issues, when the people have lost the ability to set their own agendas or knowledgeably question those in authority, when clutching our crystals and nervously consulting our horoscopes, our critical faculties in decline, unable to distinguish between what feels good and what's true, we slide, almost without noticing, back into superstition and darkness. The dumbing down of America is most evident in the slow decay of substantive content in the enormously influential media. The 30 second sound bites, now down to 10 seconds or less. Lowest common denominator programming. Credulous presentations on pseudoscience and superstition. But especially a kind of celebration of ignorance Carl Sagan. 1995. Honesty and admitting wrongdoing is a liability, wherein the risk outweighs the reward. Also changing your mind on something is frowned upon as flip-flopping. You're encouraged to dig your heels and never admit you've got a new opinion. On a similar vein, people at work who would rather trust the guy who is always 100% sure about everything, even shit he doesn't know shit about, than an expert who hedges because they understand the answer isn't simple. Edit. Clarity. The fact that I don't know where to start. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Edit. Hey, don't downvote people just because they didn't get the reference. Not everyone knows the same things. I love all your mother duckers. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. How expensive it's getting to survive. True. Like sometimes when I work overtime I would be like, I work so hard but to what end? I do have goals which I am saving for but seriously the basic needs alone makes it hard to save up. People make fun of those who live in vans and RVs but at least they aren't anchored down or burdened by landlords and banks. Everything is subscription now, and I understand why. Good, reliable monthly income for a company, but it feels like everything is turning subscription. Movie services make sense. Maybe music, but Photoshop, virtual machines, this is very old school of me but I want to buy something once and then own it. I don't want to pay a monthly price for everything. Software as a service is the equivalent of rent to own furniture, but you never own it. We already have furniture rental companies in Brazil. It's ducked up not to own your own table. Social media is like an open mic night where everyone has a mic. And they're all shouting at the same time. And half of them are absolutely wasted and don't even think before they speak. The only way to not be terribly depressed all the time is to not pay attention to what's going on. That's pretty ducked up. Adjusting to adult life was a real sucker punch. Those of us in our 20s really picked the worst possible time to grow up. Everyone is out for themselves. And somehow lying dishonesty is bad for everyone else but okay for them. It never ceases to amaze me how self-centered people are and it's very disturbing. I agree 100%. People only seem to care about their own comfort and convenience. So much so, that they will literally go out of their way to make life inconvenient and uncomfortable for others to get their CNC. Even if it's for the smallest of things, respect for other people seems to be a thing of the past more and more every day. It's the after effects of our society tipping the balance where it is more beneficial to lie and deceive than it is to be honest and admit a mistake. Those who do admit to them are cancelled forever and shunned. Those who lie or refuse to admit mistakes are not. You end up with a situation where no one in power is ever able to reverse course because doing so would be more harmful to themselves and their party. So they plow full steam ahead with bad ideas and when those ideas fail they double down. When they fail a game they gaslight you that they didn't fail. Anyone pointing out the mistake and how stupid this all is is shunned by the mob as being a member of the opposing hated group. Lack of empathy everywhere. Dating. 
platonic social interactions. Workplace. Online in general people be treating each other like expendables. I don't know why. Or if the world was always this way and I am only noticing as an adult. Edit. Oh gosh. Guys thank you for all the awards and upvotes. I was going through some tough emotions when I wrote that yesterday and this is actually making me feel good. It's something that's always existed but has been magnified by the internet. Lack of empathy is extremely common in human history and you can point to any number of things to show it. Slavery. Wars. Genocide. Human trafficking. Etc. Comma the difference is simply that we hear about it more because it has a larger stage. Also, we're exposed to more people today than at any points in history. From the comfort of my home I can talk to people on the other side of the world in real time. I can use Tinder or other dating apps to go on dates with people that I would never normally come into contact with. Technology has increased the amount of people we come in contact with so it makes it seem like the world is becoming less empathetic. Politics getting into science. Always has been a problem. If anything science has risen closer to having an even playing field these days. At least we aren't deciding if we orbit around the sun based on our opinions anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if there are still people who question that fact. Remember that we live in a world where some people still believe that the world is flat. Anti-intellectualism and the superficiality of the internet that is impossible to escape. I wish everyone rebuilt their community IRL. Anti-intellectualism is confused for thinking for yourself. Trusting blindly is also confused for intellectualism. The scientific method, for example, is not biased. Leveraging that to better understand the world around us is intellectualism. Blindly trusting a person with a certification, degree, or position of power is not intellectualism. I've met a lot of people who were unwilling to perform simple chemistry experiments in high school are per science loving when what they really like is the aesthetic of science. Deferring judgment to those who are smarter can be good, it can also be bad. Politics and money run everything. And every good person who tries to get involved to make change doesn't make it far because the folks at the top are corrupt and run everything. Just look at how Biden went from polling in the shitter at the beginning to winning the ducking election because he was the DNC darling. They didn't want Yang or Bernie because those guys weren't offering to be a sock puppet. I'm not advocating for Yang or Bernie specifically, but the fact that ducking Biden, who every dem I know in my entire life didn't like at first, ended up being the front runner by the end and winning because he was less bad than Trump ducking blows my mind. I hate, hate how we are constantly being divided every which way we can. We're all human regardless of our differences, and given the fact that in this day and age we have yet to find life on other planets, we should consider ourselves extremely lucky and start treating life as precious as it is. Political factions, vaccinations, masks, religion, sports teams, no matter how significant or trivial, mother duckers find a way to hate someone just for something they like or believe in. Yep, tribalism is built into us since we exist as a species. It was really important for survival as hunter-gatherers, now it's just annoying. Not the worst. People have already said it. I hate how normalized wanting needing to be famous on social media purely for validation, and not for your content, has become. I don't mean this as a dick, but if you are making content and want to become famous, you should probably have a marketable skill, comedy, acting, singing, anything else, prior to that instead of trying to make one up after you've got to following. I was just talking to my brother the other day about the early days of YouTube and how nobody was doing it to get rich back then. People just put out their art man, and sure a lot of it was pointless lol. Badger song, keyboard cat, those unicorns on candy mountain, chocolate rain, etc. But at least you didn't see how goddamn desperate people were to be famous and rich. Yeah I agree. The second people found out you could make money money from sponsorships and stuff it was like YouTube took a backflip and people who do almost nothing at all now oversaturate a market that used to be for people who were passionate and creative. The lack of empathy everyone seems to have. Like some people care more about being right than actually having a conversation and they're so close minded it drives me nuts. I try to be open minded in any argument I have. It's a bit difficult when the guy you're arguing with is an a-hole. 
I hate this in dating apps or when meeting people. They would openly declare themselves as open minded but as soon as your views vary they will be angry ha ha ha. Too much for open minded. Experiences, values, and beliefs vary. Listening to someone from the other side of the fence actually fosters depth and growth. Doesn't mean you won't have a stand but at least you are informed. I think I draw the line at fake news and attempts to rewrite history ha ha ha. Can we rephrase the question to, what do I not hate? I'd love to know your answer. Wait let me start another thread for that ha 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 or you can start the thread and I'll answer. Lem no. I don't hate you OP you're very nice. Ducking media's companies. They took over the world. In my country, whatever you search about politics in Google, all the results will lead you to one single ducking multimedia corporation. Since the others aren't as big and powerful as them. P-R-O-P-A-G-A-N-D-A ridiculous how much power they have these days but at the same time brilliant how they were able to position themselves in such a seat of power. This is where media and digital literacy plus critical thinking becomes really important. I hope the young ones are equipped with both. TL. Doctor. A perpetual state of apathy in many forms. Privacy it scares me that so many people are surrendering to the idea of being constantly monitored at all times. I was talking with a younger co-worker about how I will never have an Alexa or any similar device in my home. Since cell phones are bad enough, he responded very nonchalantly. I've just accepted it at this point. That bothered me very deeply. Big box stores over local stores I also despise how there's a growing acceptance towards big box corporate stores over local stores. I know way too many people who will buy literally everything from Amazon. Walmart. ETC because they don't feel like going out and shopping. I've lived in a large city for many years. And I'm seeing huge corporation chain stores replacing unique, charming, incredible stores that haven't been in some communities for decades. It's not a good feeling or sight to see when every community you go to begins to be an endless repetition. But everything is cheaper. Yeah, everything also breaks more easily, and specialized workers will be replaced by workers that are just numbers on a corporate spreadsheet who know the company doesn't give a damn about them. I know I sound grouchy but it is as if I'm seeing a real degradation and no one seems to care because it's easier or that we should just accept that it's happening. The unfortunate reality is the majority of people cannot afford to shop local. I live in Austin, TX. If I was to shop locally I would not be able to afford rent. I need to shop at the bigger box stores to live. I would love to shop locally but it's just not economically viable and it sucks. I understand completely. After accepting a once in a lifetime opportunity of a job. I took decent pay cut. Eventually I had to choose between buying shampoo and cleaning supplies from my grocery store versus Walmart. Walmart won. They were simply cheaper than anywhere else by several dollars. I hated it. But I had to change my purchasing habits to survive financially. As soon as I was able to stop going there, I did. How much being a shit person is actually celebrated and encouraged? I don't understand this one myself. My co-worker is one of those girls that prides herself on being a beach. She proudly states how many people she's ran out of our workplace. And it blows my mind. 33 and proud of being a mean girl. Oof. The worst part is how many people encourage her for being like that. People worship power. How everything is so ducking expensive. The gap between rich and poor. It's ridiculous how some people are insanely rich while there are people who starve most of the days. It also really bothers me when someone of low income complains about not being able to afford basic needs. And all the rich people just jump on and say they need to budget better. Instead of realizing how ducked up it is that some people can't afford the basics in life. It doesn't matter how much a person may budget their checks. No one should have to question where their next meal is going to come from or whether they can afford to buy more basic necessities or not. When you come down to it. It's uncomfortable and frankly bizarre that you can be born into nothing, scraping by on minimum scraps, or be born into a position where you'll no doubt control thousands of people's lives, big people and small people, like different species, and it's getting worse and worse. I thought this kind of shit would start to disappear as civilization became more enlightened, but it's the opposite, and probably forever will be, until we extinguish ourselves by overutilization. 
people exploit social issues and mental health awareness on social media and pretend to care by making posts about them saying they care and are there for those people, but they only make those posts to make themselves look good publicly. The fact is most of them do absolutely nothing to help in their personal lives and they often ignore and turn their backs on the very people they publicly claim to care about and have empathy for. Actions speak louder than words. One of the worst things about being a mental health professional is constantly seeing the hurt in my patient's eyes when the people that told them they were going to help, don't. The people they thought loved and cared for them were doing nothing more than patting themselves on the back thinking they are doing a good thing just by saying the words, but they are literally doing the opposite. They are abusing that person and destroying them even more. It is so heartbreaking. It also makes my job a lot tougher because oftentimes they have a harder time trusting people. Which means they can't trust me. If you're not going to help that person, then do them a favor and don't say anything. You'd be helping them more that way. The rampant stupidity. People are just misinformed or uninformed. They blatantly refuse to actually seek out information or accept facts. People are seemingly proud of their stupidity and it just disgusts me. My grandfather raised 8 kids supported his wife and paid a mortgage on a 40-50 hour a week manager's salary at Sears. They had a 2 weeks interstate vacation every year. It wasn't anything lavish. Usually they went by station wagon to West Virginia where my grandparents were from or they went to Venice, Florida or something. But it was still 2 weeks of vacation for 10 people. They never took government assistance. That is so far from fantasy these days it's not even fathomable. If somebody put that in a movie most people would be unable to suspend their disbelief. In fact it's absurd to even expect I could support just myself with a comparable job today. My wife's father supported his wife and raised three kids selling pen sets door to door. This was in the late 70s early 80s. Owned a nice home. Had two vehicles and vacations every year. It's crazy to imagine not having double incomes to survive let alone that standard of living. Propaganda. It's not really new, but it's something that I really hate, and don't hear people talk about it very often. Worst of all is the fact that people don't really know how to define propaganda. A friend of mine told me once that either that propaganda were only the flyers one is given in the streets for elections or coffee shops. Until he went to Germany and saw the old building of the propaganda ministry and went on. I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was. Now what I'm with isn't it anymore and once it seems weird and scary, it'll happen to you. Comma Abe Simpson edited to correct to Abe from Homer. The fact that we can't unite as a species yet, it's going to kill us all if we can't start working towards a common goal. Not in my lifetime, not in your children's, but eventually our species will pay for everything we do unless we unite and advance. This is why we can't join the intergalactic alliance, we don't have our shit together. Kidding aside, humans will be the end of humans. I hate that a small group of investors, executives, and professionals are rewarded extremely well for cutting costs by creating dead-end jobs, reducing wages to poverty levels, and selling mediocre products with shiny packaging and advertising. Because of this process, everything is extremely boring and low quality. All stores, restaurants look the same. You rarely see anything unique. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. Basically everything. Such immense powers of innovation and problem solving and we're letting greedy, shitty people run everything. The world seems tailor made to protect stupid a-holes from their consequences and inconvenience or even hurt decent people. How one greedy person can have a negative impact on 100 others. If only it was that good. One greedy person can have a negative impact on literally billions of others. How the human race may have already triggered the inevitable destruction of the planet's ecosphere. That we are unable to work together to try to reverse the damage. And that a significant portion of the world population refuses to acknowledge that there is a problem. Littering. I see PPL throw small bits of trash out their windows constantly. It makes me furious. The fact so many people have become completely incapable of dealing with others who have a difference of opinion in a calm, mature, rational manner. The second they learn you don't agree with them, they become the most hateful, intolerant, angry, and sometimes violent, 
people imaginable, all while crying that you are the hateful intolerant one, smh. They learned how to do this in church, once I saw this guy on a bridge about to jump, I said, don't do it, he said, nobody loves me, I said, god loves you, do you believe in god, he said, yes, I said, are you a christian or a jew, he said, a christian, I said, me, too, protestant or catholic, he said, protestant, I said, me, too, what franchise, he said, baptist, I said, me, too, northern baptist or southern baptist, he said, northern baptist, I said, me, too, northern conservative baptist or northern liberal baptist, he said, northern conservative baptist, I said, me, too, northern conservative baptist great lakes region, or northern conservative baptist eastern region, he said, northern conservative baptist great lakes region, I said, me, too, northern conservative baptist great lakes region council of 1879, or northern conservative baptist great lakes region council of 1912, he said, northern conservative baptist great lakes region council of 1912, I said, die, heretic, and I pushed him over. I don't know about the whole world, but this is for sure in the US. The combination of social media and reality TV seems to be leading people to believe they're like the main character in life, and that they have an audience. Like life is now a reality TV show and they are stars online. Taco Bell cancelling the Mexican pizza. How everything revolves around companies businesses etc. Our whole lives rely on working and everything we see and do involves a business. I would like to see more leisure and family focus in the world. People seem to be outraged over everything, and a lot of it rightfully so but my grandpa gave me a great bit of advice growing up and with the invention of the internet it's only gotten more relevant there are 1000 hills you could die on. Make sure that hill is a mountain. Duck scalpers. Everything sells out instantly and put up on eBay. It's impossible to get Pokemon cards or anything that's slightly limited supply. Graphics cards are ducked. Apparently even Halloween decorations are being scalped. Duck off scalpers. Get a goddamn actual job. That no one cares about privacy anymore. Everyone just posts everything all the time. Well, I am currently sitting in an airport where people are carrying on loud conversations. Folks are talking loudly on their cell phones where I can hear both sides of the conversation. Folks playing brain dead cartoon music videos for their kids with no headphones. So, too much noise. How everything seems to have turned to shit in my lifetime. It was never super great, but it was at least good. Now it seems the world is shit on a shingle and it just keeps getting worse and worse. For the first time in my life I'm genuinely worried about World War 3 starting. That money, something inherently non-existent, is a higher value than life itself. That the media has suddenly gone silent regarding the Uyghur concentration camps and genocide in China. How black and white everyone says everything is. Nobody acts like there's nuance anymore. Political correctness. Woke. Victim mentality. Tribalism and celebrity worship. Typing that made me feel like a netbud but man if I have to hear Joe Rogan's opinion from someone else's mouth one more time I'm going to move to the Klondike and disappear. The fact that some people go to space as a hobby, and other die because they can't afford insulin or other healthcare. How people think it's okay to film you and invade your privacy. I got into a pretty bad car accident in a busy intersection a few years ago and some a-holes decided to film me while laughing. I was bleeding from my face and obviously in shock from the incident. The accident was so bad that I had to go to therapy and I stopped driving for years after. When I'm having a depressive episode, I can't help but think about how cruel some people are. Woke snowflakes. We have the softest generation of humans. Attention seeking social media culture. People feel the need to categorize everyone to the same group. There is not spectrums. Only black and white. Good and bad. The worst batch of apples represent the whole tree. No matter the collateral victims. Read this as you will. I'm sure you've seen examples. 
how widespread the belief is that a person's physical characteristics are the most important part of their identity. I asked my sister-in-law why she stopped writing and she replied I think there are enough white women voices out there. Yep. That's what your whole experience boils down to. It's illegal to pee and poop outside. But it's impossible to find public bathrooms in many modern cities. What are people supposed to do? Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.